Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So uh, we had our London UK Pen Club here on Saturday the 4th of August and I thought I would show you uh, some of the pens that I took along with some photos that I took at the Pen Club. Um, you'll see here um, we have um, a number of uh, Viscontis here in this pen tray. So um, left to right uh, we have the uh, Visconti uh, Opera Master Golden Dust which is a, a really nice pattern it has a uh, gold dust uh, in the uh, body itself it's a very smoky um, complexion to the pen uh, I also took um, my uh, Visconti Opera Master um, Blue Swirls um, Daniel um, wanted to have a look at uh, not only the uh, River Thames again he's thinking of buying one but uh, I wanted to try different nib sizes so I thought I'd take that along with me as well so I had a, a fine nib here on the golden dust uh, a medium nib on the blue swirls and then a stub on the River Thames and this is a lovely Visconti uh, Opera Master River Thames and this is a uh, Chatterley Luxuries uh, exclusive uh, I also took a, a, a number of uh, other new pens um, that I have. I've done a review of this recently. This is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl. And this is a really, really lovely pen. So if you want to check out that review and you haven't already, uh, please uh, check out my videos here um, because uh, you'll, you'll find a, a full review of this pen. It's an absolutely stunning pen. Uh, I also took my um, Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog because that's another one that has swirls in it and again this is uh, a pen that a lot of people like. Uh, now both uh, the um, the Bronze Swirl and the London Fog both have 1.3mm stubs in them. Uh, I decided I would take the uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens Lava Bronze Age um, with me because uh, I'm also bringing the, or brought the, um, uh, the new evolution, and um, you can see here, if I zoom in here, you'll see the cap. Now, I have a video review that's coming shortly for this pen. Now, uh, there's quite a lot of differences between this and the original Bronze Age, so I thought I would take that with me so that people could uh, check it out and uh, have a look and, and um, test write with it. It's actually quite heavier, more heavier than the standard Bronze Age when it's inked up. Uh, I also took uh, my uh, Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, uh, and this is a lovely pen. Very heavy, solid silver uh, and marble uh, in the body, but it's a lovely, lovely pen. Uh, and uh, you can see here, even, even the section there is uh, solid uh, silver. So... Uh, it's very weighty but it's a lovely pen uh, and it's one that I really do like in my collection uh, and that comes with a medium nib um, the uh, Homo Sapiens Bronze Age has a fine and uh, this uh, new evolution has a 1.3 millimeter stub that uh, is a steel nib um, actually, I'll just show you here but it's coming in the review anyway but uh, this is the the new steel nib get it to zoom in There you go, you'll see it there. It's uh, very radical um, in design, but uh, quite futuristic, really. But uh, I thought I would uh, just show you that briefly, and then you'll see it on the full review that's coming shortly. Uh, I also ha uh, took with me the, the uh, Visconti Speakeasy, and this is a stunning pen. Uh, I absolutely love this material. Um, it's beautiful, and... Uh, and as you can see, this is a very thick pen. It is a marker pen, but um, it's a pen that I do love uh, in my collection. And that comes with a very juicy medium nib. And I have the uh, Visconti Luxor. Uh, and this is, again, stunning pen that I have uh, with all these hieroglyphs, Egyptian hieroglyphs on, it, on the pen. And then you have the uh, Egyptian Ra symbol there in gold. Uh, you can see it just sparkle. Uh, it's a really lovely pen, and this is a medium nib pen. So, so uh, I took that with me to to the pen club. And here's the um, next ten pens uh, that I took with me. So uh, there's a, a number of new pens here that I I've got in the in the past month, and I'll show you these now. 
this is the uh, Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Wild side and this is a lovely lovely pen very large uh, as you can see here pretty much tops the the um, top of the tray but it is a lovely pen and it's a pneumatic filler and a review will be coming shortly uh, of this pen but uh, again it is a lovely lovely pen so I was really glad that I was able to add this to my collection um, for quite a very good price actually so uh, uh, and I've had for a long time the Bologna Arco Brown uh, and you can see this is again is, is stunning material these uh, Arco materials are really really nice so um, uh, I took that inked up with me as well. Now, they come with uh, effectively what is called a Magic Flex, 18 cat gold Magic Flex nib, and they are effectively fine nibs, but they will flex. Um, I also took my Armando Simone Club Ojiva with me. Uh, this is the Ojiva Tribute, and uh, again, Arco, I really do love this material from Omas. It is stunning material. Uh, that comes with a uh, um, a fine nib. Uh, I also took uh, my Arco. Um, this is the Omas Milord Arco Brown, and this is in a medium nib. And and again, this this Arco material is just absolutely stunning. The way it catches the light, this sort of like wood grain effect that that goes on. And then I took uh, my. Um, uh, Paragon um, Arco Brown as well from Omas and again I, I really do like this pen so the Milord comes in a medium which writes more like a double board and this um, uh, Paragon comes in a broad nib and writes more like a broad nib uh, and I also picked up uh, three other Omas's uh, uh, in the past month um, so this is the Omas Paragon in uh, royal blue and this is again a lovely material and a review will be coming of this soon um, you can see here just as, as the light catches it it's almost like a cracked ice effect you can see here on the body there uh, so that's really nice um, this came in a very crisp fine nib um, which I've smoothed down a little bit uh, and then I had this paragon another paragon as well from Omos uh, I think you can see a bit of a, a, a theme going on here. And this is the um, Scarlet Red Paragon. So again, that sort of like cracked ice effect uh, that's going on there in the body. But again, stunning. And uh, this is a, a medium nib. And then uh, a friend of mine, Tony, uh, has been badgering me to get a, an Omar 360 for some time. So I finally got one. And this is the Omos 360. And the Omos 360s are basically triangular pens. Um, so you have to hold them in a particular way. Um, like really with your, your middle finger underneath. And then your two fingers either side. Again, it's a lovely pen. It's a really good writer. This is a, an oblique medium nib. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to pick this nib up, uh, because it was an oblique medium. I don't have any obliques, and I wanted to try one out, and uh, I thought this was a, the perfect opportunity to do so. So those are the new pens I've had uh, this month. And then I also took my lovely classic pens LM1 Flame Red, and this is a lovely pen. Uh, comes with a Bok. 18 karat gold nib um, and it's it's a lovely writer um, I really do love this pen uh, I love the uh, the diffusion bonded acrylic uh, material and then here is the uh, classic pens LB5 so uh, and again this is the Kauseki finish uh, it's a little bit bigger than the LM1 and it comes with a Sailor King of Pen nib on this one. So uh, this one has a little bit of bounce to it. But that material is, again, 
absolutely stunning. So uh, I took those pens with me. I also had uh, some requests to bring my uh, Leonardo uh, Leonardo Officina pens. So um, this was from Gary. He wanted to try them out again. So uh, I took uh, this one with me, um, which is the uh, resin version. And this is just the blue. I've done a review on that one. And I also took the horn version as well. I've had a number of people asking after this pen. So uh, I, I took this with me as well. So that was really uh, the, all of the pens that I uh, took with me. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.